Welcome, I am Brianna and this is my life on paper and I am here on day 24 with for, um, following along with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life and her bust of 30 days of sketches where uh, we all take the same sketch of a scrapbook layout and we do it in our own way. We follow it how we want, we switch it up, we turn it, um, whatever you, however your heart desires and we love to see how all the different takes turn out. Day 24, we're getting there guys. Um, I've been able to post a layout a day. I am so excited. This is my uh, first official month doing um, my YouTube channel. I appreciate all the support I've received. So this sketch is from Anki Kramer, and I'm so sorry if I mispronounced the first name wrong or even the last name, and it's for Hip Kit Club. Um, I have this picture and there's a little bit of a glare. Uh, my, my husband, uh, since I've started scrapbooking, which has been 22 years ago, uh, he's really kind of more paid attention to photography. This is with his phone, but you know, um, things around him, getting the shot, things like that. So uh, he was out in California for business and he took this picture um, and it's gonna still glare. And the other thing I wanted to mention, yeah, you're not going to see that. The other thing I wanted to talk about is that I follow along with um, Bash Your Scrapbook Stash, and, and we are doing a, um, it's a bingo game, um, which started at the beginning of the month, and we're checking off as, as we go along. This, what I want to get checked off today is acrylic, so it's going to be acrylic paints. So when I saw this sketch, I totally thought about this piece of paper that I have. And then I went, oh my gosh, it looks so good with this photo. And then I saw the acry acrylic on the bingo game and I thought, oh, you can use acrylic paper to do something like this. So then I thought, oh, I'll just use this inspiration. I grabbed some colors similar and I thought I'll do it exactly like this. Oh, this is a Vicky Booten from a paper pad, by the way. Then I went to my Cricut and I found... I, um, what it was is it's, um, it's a sunset over water. It's a sun over water and I'll show it to you in a second. The cut file is different colors where the waves are and then a different color sun. But I thought, Ooh, I can use this as a stencil. And if I move it all to the same color in Cricut, then it will, um, I can cut it on one sheet of paper. So that's what I did. So it, it, it kind of tricked it, right? So I, Took this piece of paper, not my favorite, and let me move this out of the way. And so I made my own stencil, and it's not the thickest cardstock, but that's okay, this is gonna work, I hope. This is the first time I'm doing this, so as I say, it's gonna work, we'll see. But um, we're like, this would have been red, orange, yellow, green. I moved it all to purple. It doesn't really matter what color, but you know, the whole thing so that it was cutting it all out in one piece. And then I can actually move the stripes apart as I wanted them, place the sun as I wanted it, get it how I wanted it, cut it out, and I'm going to paint over here. The second part of the sketch is kind of things falling down. So what I did with that was I found, I wasn't really sure what to do because I already had the sun, I already had the water, I cut out, it actually was a shape of just one of these with the, with the anchor and I did three of them and I welded it together. So by welding, I made one continuous border. I might back that, it's really gonna depend on how it looks behind with the, the water. Um, I'm not sure yet, so I didn't go ahead and back it because I wanna paint first. And what I think I'll do is I'm getting brave. Um, pause the video. I'm gonna get my paints ready. I'm gonna paint the water, I think just blue and kind of keep it kind of light. The sun, I was thinking of using like the orange and the yellows to get kind of a, we'll see, or yellow, but to get kind of a different color sun, you know, kind of a model type sun. And then I'll do that on camera to see how that goes. Now, if it goes terrible, you won't be seeing it. And I'm gonna go back to the other sheet of paper. But if it even turns out halfway good, I'm gonna use that for my acrylic paint on my bingo card 
and you will see it. So here goes. Okay, here we go. Here's the blue. And not, I didn't know if I should pour it right onto my glass mat. Of course it's splattered, but it's fine. I have the California, in fact, I should move that. My two dots are off to the side on the photo. I always lose those two, but if I stick them on the photo, maybe I'll be careful with them. Um, we'll see. You might be seeing me cut little tiny dots for the eyes or I might be using a pen. So here's the blue. I've got uh, orange, red, and yellow standing nearby. We're gonna put that over the light so that you can't see the glare. I'm probably gonna need more than that paint, but we're gonna start there. This paper doesn't seem to sit well and nice and flat, but I did tape it off a little bit with some washi. And I don't, I know I can always add more. I was hoping it might be a little streaky. And maybe not. I don't really, we'll see how this turns out. There's no wrong way, right? This just might take us forever. You can fast forward if you don't want to see the process. I don't want to get it perfect. I don't want to go under the stencil either. Oh, I'm using a lot less paint than I thought I would have to. See, I think that's more of what I was kind of going for, is more of a dry brush look in spots. I mean, obviously we need to make it look like water and follow the stencil. So I didn't mention that I raided my kids' art supplies. Um, my children are in their early 20s. I've got three girls and we still have a lot of art supplies. So I went through a lot of it and uh, actually put a lot on Facebook Marketplace and I kind of just put it on, you know, take it all. And um, it was, Markers, oh, it's totally assorted crayons. Um, mismatched markers, colored pencils, pens, pencils. And uh, I did have somebody on Facebook Marketplace message me back right away to say, oh, I'm homeschooling my three boys, I would love it. So she came the next day and she picked it up all of it and it was, so nice to get rid of that out of my house because we don't use it but so nice to have someone that would benefit from it and really um, was glad for it we'll see how this patchiness works out Not totally, I don't know if I knew what to envision with this so again however it turns out that's how it turns out Here's the water, which actually, if you look at my picture, is closer to the to the sky colors, but um, the dark the water was darker. But um, I'm just I'm not going for realistic here. I'm going for some kind of artsy look, apparently. So um, what's the word for it when it's not realistic? I'll think of it later. Impressionistic. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, it would be my first. Well, I don't know. If I painted in a scrapbook page, it's very well could be, but it would have been when my 20 something kids were toddlers. I started scrapbooking when my middle daughter, who is now 22, was, was about four months old. So, there, there you go. Some of it you can see kind of more blobby lines. Here I thought I would use more paint. All right, well that's a good start. I am going to put some down now that I know I don't need much of any. Most of these are kind of used. This orange one is brand, well I shouldn't say brand new. It has not been opened yet. Okay, got them open and you really do not need much paint. So I've got a little bit there. Public service announcement, don't forget to uh, shake your paint. There's a little bit that wasn't, isn't mixed in. So, um, I'm obviously not a mixed media person, but we're gonna have fun with this. Whoa, there goes my paper. So we'll just slide it up, not a problem. <laughs> Looks like that part should have ta been taped down better. I will hold it. I was going to put this color in the middle. And 
Again, no way, no wrong way to do this. I'm not going to clean the brush in between because I want that mixture of paints. Although it would be kind of cool if I got streaky rather than it all turn out to be one color. So I like so far how it's going. Um, Scrappy Kathy is one I really like to watch. She, I like listening to her voice as she tells her stories and goes along. She's good at mixed media. I feel like I'm channeling her a little bit. What would Kathy do? <laughs> oh, here we go. Get my fingerprints in there. I'm not going to do much more, I think, because I want to not blend it in completely. All right, are we ready to see what it looks like? Boy, and that used like no paint whatsoever. All right, we, I know we can always put this back down, but really, I think if there was anything I was going for, this is it. All right, I'm gonna give that a chance to dry. I can throw this away, because even if I wanna make it again, I know I can do it. I used that scrap paper, so that's perfect. Let, I'll let this dry. I'll come back and put my page together and I will see you shortly. Welcome back. Here is the finished product. <clears throat> and try not to get glare on the photo. Uh, as you can see, I took the same kind of cut file that I had from the Cricut and I um, did it again in a different color. So when I was talking about the, you know, like I was thinking about using this, the colors, I just love the colors. So I pulled those to go on here. I did the pink on there, but because it was like the only pink, well, and I had the California down here, but it just looked like it needed yellow. Um, then I found the washi tape here that matched the sun. So I cut out the yellow over here and then did California in the gray. Um, it was, the reason why I thought of the gray was I wanted to bring in, it's the black on the washi tape, but I thought maybe gray wouldn't be so um, stark or severe. So I did that. And then when I placed that, or that peach color, and again, it was a color that I had pulled from this that I just had laying out and I pulled it out and I went, oh my gosh, it just goes so good with the sun. So I did keep it in there. It's the only like peach color there. Um, I'm okay with that. I, I really like the way it turned out. So so we have the Cricut here, Cricut here. Uh, this is Paper Studio washi tape. We have Craft Smart acrylic paint. And that is the whole thing. I triple matted my um, picture. I never do that, but just because I was trying to use all those colors to bring everything together, um, I started off actually just going to mat it with the gray. And then I was like, it needs more color. So then I made, no, that's when I pulled in the orange for there. But then I went, I still like the yellow on there. So the gray is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. When I realized I needed another matte closer because it was I love this the peach color with the sunset I made the peach color the four by six so then I made my um picture a quarter inch smaller than that and so the yellow mat then is four and a half by six and a half so there it is I know uh, you know other people that I was kind of peeking at from the last time this sketch went around had other embellishments in it but by the time I got done with this you can barely see kind of like the waves and stuff anyway. So I was just really happy with the way it turned out and didn't want to add anything. I hope you have enjoyed this. I will have Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life, her playlist down below. I'll also have the Facebook group that she runs um, for the sketches. I'll have that listed below. And I will have my favorites links listed below as well. If you have any questions or comments or anything that you'd like to know more about, please leave me a comment before below. And then um, please consider subscribing if you haven't. 
If you have subscribed, I really appreciate you. I want to thank you very much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I am having so much with this channel. You guys have a great day and I will be back tomorrow with another sketch.